Dario, along with the second sons and his Darzo Lorak, returns from their successful mission in Yunkai and is present within in the Great Pyramid when Hisdar suggests to Daenerys that she should reopen the fighting pits. Dario notices Daenerys' initial frustration with Hisdar, brandishing his knife while he speaks, amusing Daenerys. Unexpectedly, Daenerys refuses to reopen the fighting pits, even in retrospect of the prospect of freedmen competing rather than slaves. However, he later explains that he agrees with Hisdar's suggestion to reopen the pits. He then goes on to tell her about his life growing up as a boy who became a pit fighter himself, and how fighting in the pits made him the warrior he is today. He says he is the only one who will give her honest counsel. He also explains that a dragon queen is no queen without her dragons, which encourages her to visit Rhaegal and Viserion, who are chained in the catacombs. Dario leads Grey Worm to a house where the alleged murderer of White Rat is hiding. He tells Grey Worm that his second sons overhear things that the Unsullied do not because they blend in with the local population. Dario is also able to deduce where a member of the Sons of the Harpy was hiding because he also understands fear, while the Unsullied do not. Later, he informs the Daenerys Council that the man they arrested has very little useful information since Dario had questioned him earlier. When Mossada murders the son of the harpy, Daenerys has Dario behead Mossada in public, causing a riot. Dario brings Daenerys the news that his Darzo Lorak, as well as many more supplicants, are waiting for her. He states that it isn't necessary for Sir Barristan to be present at Daenerys's side when she talks with Hisdar, claiming that he is very much capable of protecting Daenerys against Hisdar himself which leads to Sir Barristan taking a walk in the streets instead and being subsequently murdered by the sons of the harpy. He is present when Hisdar yet again tries to convince Daenerys that the fighting pits should be reopened. Dario and Daenerys wake over the dead body of Sir Barristan. Hisdar then enters to offer his condolences. Dario suggests to Daenerys that they could pull back to the Pyramid District where they can set up a base of operations so that they can efficiently start working on catching the sons of the harpy. Daenerys chose to rather go with Dario's other suggestion, which involves apprehending the leaders of all the great families in Marine and bringing them to her. Hisdar states in shock that he is the leader of his family. Dario nods to the guards who then arrest Hisdar. Dario is present alongside Daenerys in the catacombs when Daenerys threatens Hisdar and the other apprehended leaders with the use of her dragons, Rhaegal and Viserion. Dario pushes one of the leaders before the dragons and watches as the master is burned alive then eaten. Later, while Daenerys is talking to Masande, she mentions that Dario thinks she should execute all the great masters. Dario is in bed with Daenerys, asking her if Hisdar will soon take his place beside her in her bed. Daenerys notes a hint of jealousy in Dario, which she finds amusing and sweet. Dario suggests that on the opening day of the games in the fighting pits, she should apprehend all the great masters, wise masters and all other masters of note and execute them. Daenerys responds in horror of this suggestion that she is a queen and not a butcher, to which Dario replies that, all rulers are either butchers or meat. Dario, along with Daenerys, Tyrion, Missandei and Hisdar are in the great pit of Dizonak observing the opening match which is set to take place. The match features two fighters, one large man versus one smaller man, Dario states to Daenerys that she should gamble on the smaller man because Dario thinks that speed defeats size in combat. Dario is referring to himself when he says this, because when he was a pit fighter himself he was also small, but this never stopped him from winning the fights, even when he was fighting against men that were much larger than him. Dario goes on explaining why this is so whilst twirling his dagger around Hisdar's head, which makes Hisdar nervous. Hisdar disagrees with Dario's opinion on this matter saying that in his experience watching the games in the fighting pits the larger men win over the smaller men almost every time. Daenerys responds to Hisdar by saying that he may not be the right man to speak considering Hisdar has never fought himself. The fight eventually ends with the larger man winning, just as Hisdar had predicted, which leaves Dario with a sour look on his face. Dario, along with the others, is shocked when Jorah shows up as a fighter when the second match is about to commence. Daenerys allows Jorah to fight in the match, and even though Jorah is outmatched for most of the fight he does end up winning the fight in the end. Just after the match has ended, Jorah throws a spear towards the podium where Daenerys is sitting. Dario makes sure the spear doesn't hit Daenerys by pulling her to the side. 
The spear that Jorah threw was revealed to be targeted towards a member of the Sons of the Harpy who had been sneaking up on Daenerys from behind. Dario looks into the audience to realize that the Sons of the Harpy are there. Dario manages to fight off and kill many of the Sons that were trying to get to Daenerys. Dario witnesses Hisdar being stabbed repeatedly in the chest as they are trying to escape from the podium, revealing that Hisdar wasn't in league with the Sons of the Harpy after all as Dario had predicted. Dario, Daenerys, Tyrion, Missandei, Jorah and a handful of Unsullied all run towards the center of the arena trying to find a way to escape, instead finding themselves surrounded by a huge number of Sons of the Harpy. Dario, Jorah and the Unsullied manage to kill several of them before they eventually realize that they stand no chance against such a huge number of Sons of the Harpy. Just as hope seems to fade away, Drogon appears in the arena scaring off most of the Sons and killing the rest. Daenerys ends up mounting Drogon on the back and flying out of the arena. Dario, Tyrion, Missandei and Jorah all look up to the sky as Daenerys flies away on Drogon. Dario later strategizes, or rather argues, with Tyrion and Jorah in Daenerys's throne room. When Masande arrives with Grey Worm, Dario throws a few barbs his way before firmly declaring that neither Tyrion, who has no tracking or combat skills, nor Grey Worm, who is still recovering, can come with them to track the queen down. Instead, Dario declares, Grey Worm and Masande must lead the Unsullied in keeping the peace, while Tyrion makes sure the city's politics don't bring the pyramids crashing down around them. Dario and Jorah then depart on horseback to find Daenerys.